Welcome to a Code Report Solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to Chef and Serves from the October 2018 Long Challenge from Code Chef. The problem states, in a regular table tennis match, the player who serves changes every time after two points are scarred, regardless of which player scored them. Chef and Cook are playing a different match. They decided that the player who serves would change every time after K points are scored instead, again regardless of which player scored them. When the game starts, it's Chef's turn to serve. You are given the current number of points scored by Chef and Cook, P1 and P2 respectively, and we are asked to find out whether Chef or Cook has to serve next. And the constraints for this problem are T, the number of test cases are, is going to be between 1 and 10 to the 5, K, the number of points between alternating serves is between 1 and 10 to the 9, and P1 and P2 will be between 0 and 10 to the 9. So let's take a look at a couple examples. So here we have t equal to 3, 3 test cases, and then the test cases below. Uh, the first two numbers are p1 and p2, and then the last number is k. Uh, and so we can visualize this problem as follows. We sort of have a timeline of total points, and uh, for the first two points, chef's going to serve, and then the next two points, cook's going to serve, and then we repeat. So we sort of have a uh, interval or a pattern that repeats, so we only need to focus on sort of one of these. And once we solve uh, it for the this first interval, we can just use the modulus operator to sort of uh, figure out what the equivalent of the total number of points is if we were just starting the game. Uh, so as I mentioned, Chef is going to serve for the first two points and then Cook will serve for the next two points. So we only need to be concerned about this interval here. And then the next step is just to figure out what the total number of points is. So where are we on this sort of timeline or point line here? So the way we do that is we just add A and B together, which are the first two numbers here. So respectively, that's one for the first test case, three for the second, and six for the third. And then we can draw arrows that sort of point to where we are on the timeline. So uh, for our first test case, we're going to want to output chef because it's still chef's turn. Uh, for the second test case, it's going to be cook's turn. And then for the third test case it's also going to be Cook's turn. Note that when the arrow points at sort of the uh, line in between the two this is inclusive of the following range. Um, and so the way that we can sort of reset this to be in this interval is just by using the modulus operator. And note that we want to modulus by 2 times k which is the length of the interval not just k. And so that gives us a formula that looks as follows. We have a plus b, which is the total number of points scored so far, uh, modulus 2 times k, the length of sort of this repeating interval, and then all we have to do is check whether then it's uh, whether it's less than k. So if it's less than k, we know that means it's chef's uh, turn to serve because it falls in this sort of green region, the first half of the interval, and if it's uh, greater than or equal to k, that means that it's in the second half of the interval, meaning that it's cooked serve. So that's basically uh, all there is to this problem. It's pretty straightforward. Once you have this formula, you can just plug it in uh, to your solution and you're good to go. So let's take a look at our solutions. So here is our C++ solution. It's pretty short. Most of it's just reading in the input. So we're reading in t, the number of test cases. Then we have a while loop for uh, while t is not zero. And we just read in a, b, and k, and then we plug those into our uh, formula here. So once again, a plus b, modulus 2 times k. If it's less than k, we output chef. Otherwise, we output cook. That's all there is. So uh, let's move on to our Java solution. A little bit more verbose due to the way that we have to read things in, but very similar, just different syntax. So we're using the scanner to read in t, as well as a, b, and k. And then we are setting a string here. Uh, which is just going to be equal to our answer, chef or cook, and then passing that to uh, print line so that we output the answer for each test case. And note that this formula here is identical to the one in the C++ solution, obviously. And last but not least, taking a look at the Python solution, the most concise of all these solutions as per usual, we're reading in T, then we have a for loop in the range of T, we read in A, B, K, and then we just print out chef if uh, this condition is less than K, otherwise print out cook. So the last thing to talk about is time complexity, and for this problem, it's going to be big O of t because we have t test cases, and the time complexity for each test case is constant. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.